Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Finally, we are close to getting to new season, season of Stripe, but currently I'm in a home kingdom preparing for a new season. Well, preparation is always the most important, especially if you are a free-to-play player and you kinda understand what's coming up next, right? For example, next season we are not going to have any longer seasonal talents, which means there won't gonna be any long-range warfare or magic skill damage additional buffs, right? So in order for you to perform way better in the future seasons, you need to understand how you can prepare your legions, your marches for the next season right in this video i will showcase how i think the next season will be and how i'm preparing myself in terms of legions and in terms of hero pairs with artifacts and with warpits right currently as you guys already know i'm a marksman main i have been playing with marksman legions since the season one even before long range warfare right so whenever i understood that there won't gonna be any long range warfare i understood that i need to configure my playstyle right for example so far i have two legion types in my fighting gameplay right for example first one is my marksman which i will be using no matter what because i have already invested a lot of legendary tokens a lot of resources as a free-to-play player it will be a really really bad from my side if i will just cancel my marksman and i will start working on something else right so that's why i have Four legions as the arch legions which I will be using in the future seasons and first one is of course uh, my Nico and Kinara, my strongest legion and strongest simply because uh, my only legendary hero which is Awakened is Kinara and the as I have mentioned before for a free to play player to awaken legendary hero is almost impossible if you are not going to spend all of them on the one hero right uh, and all, even if you will do that you will have to spend and two or three seasons in order for you to awaken it fully and of course my rattle spear my best artifact for nico and kinara simply because defense break is actually working amazingly uh, for this hero pair and my snow peak rock this is my warped for this legion for this hero pair which i have building and i'm really really close to finishing i just want to have third concentration synergy talent skill and it will be done right uh, next one is of course the new hero unfortunately i don't have magrat yet and i'm hoping to get magrat from the wheel of destiny uh, but until that zaida and indies um, okay i understand epic epic artifact not that amazing but at least sand lizard is looking fine and indies simply because indies is one of the most unique legendary heroes which you can use almost in any hero pairs in the game that's my second legion. Third legion for my archers is Cinder and Freigar, and it's purely free to play Cinder and Freigar 5111. 5112 uh, Heart of Kamasi simply because this hero pair is uh, just free to play uh, skills won't gonna deal too much damage that's why I decided to put Heart of Kamasi and also like buffs of the Heart of Kamasi is working pretty well unfortunately we have defensive stats on Heart of Kamasi but that's totally fine I'm using this hero pair more of a supportive style and Nitro which is pretty nice I understand that it would be much better for me if I had better stats on my Nitro but that's fine at least i have a uh, two star rage and uh, a two star intense ravage right and of course my last archer legion which is uh play which i have been playing this past season and it's been one of the most um, like profitable hero pair in terms of merits which is craig and tia with wyverns uh, using shadow blades uh, which is level one using my snow peak rock uh, with the normal attack strategy i understand it it can have better stats but i don't have enough resources to build a new pet so far that's why i'm keeping the snow peak rock on my craig and tia i understand epic hero as a primary might not be the great idea but there is a big surprise right Tia is giving so much buffs to Craig and Craig that sometimes it feels like Craig is legendary hero. That's why 
I have been getting 20, 21, 25 thousand merits out of the mass PvP fights simply because of this Bigus Bombus, which is dealing damage to multiple targets, which has a bleed. And whenever you are fighting against a couple of legions in a big wars, this skill is dealing a huge amount of damage. And of course, like skill damage factor buffs, attack buffs. Uh, defensive buffs which is Thea is giving and a lot of survivability uh, from the Thea is making this um, hero pair really strong which gonna survive for a long period of time which gonna deal a damage and in general I think Wyverns in terms of flying units are the second best flying units in the game. First one is of course Celestial but simply because I'm playing Archers I'm playing with Wilderborg. So this is like even if they won't gonna be long range warfare uh, in the future season, I'm still gonna use these four legions, which is marksman legions. I understand whenever we had we don't had long range warfare, archers were like more defensive style of uh, gameplay troop type. But I'm really interested what it will look uh, in the next season, in season of stripe, and how successful marksmen will be. And as I have mentioned before, I have already invested too much resources on my archer legendary heroes and it would be total waste if I will just throw them away and won't gonna use them, right? So I kinda have to use my archers in a future seasons, even if there won't gonna be any long range warfare. This is like my, my main um, legions, my, my main four legions, my archer legions, which I hope will be successful in the season of Strife. Simply because if they won't gonna be uh, successful, then I will have a lot of problems getting merits because these four legions are my main uh, merits generator, right? And of course, as I said, in terms of preparation, I prepared my second like group of legions, which I will be using uh, even if the long range warfare will have a huge impact and even if uh, marksmen are going to struggle a lot, I will be using second mage. Uh, group of uh, legendary and epic heroes and let's understand why they are good and how i'm going to use them in a most perfect way first one is of course Walder and Welling. as i as you guys already understand i'm a free to play player i don't even have uh lilia uh, not even spending one dollar i'm i'm basically showing you guys that you can have fun in call of dragons even if you are not spending in this game right Walder and Welling. Uh, of course Walder will be primary primary hero because of the skill talent tree uh, as you can see well is like simple free to play Play well in 5113 with Phoenix Eye, uh, with Sapphire Frederick. My Sapphire Frederick is looking nice, but I will I will try my best to get Pain Bloom to the two star and intense Pain Bloom to the two star because you are getting huge buffs with the Pain Bloom uh, whenever you are getting uh, upgraded to the next star levels, right? In terms of like max, like percentage, the additional buffs is always amazing, right? And of course, Walder and Welling is like. A control type of style of PvP a hero pair. Uh, thanks to the Walder's Awakening skill, you can deal damage to three nearby legions, which is always one of the best things which you can get on your heroes because I'm generally participating in wars, not in a single player combats. And whenever you are playing in wars, you are, you understand that you can if you can hit multiple targets whenever you are fighting you are getting more and more merits merits out of this game right that's why i really like all this awakening skin and of course as an epic hero it's not gonna be really hard for you guys to awaken Walder in the future right second one which i'm currently working to make it at least like free to play friendly hero pair is bertrand and tohar uh, Bertrand and Tohar is a new style of mage hero pair which is more of a single target damage. You won't gonna deal damage to AoE to multiple targets. You will be just standing still dealing damage to one legion. Don't get me wrong, it still has a lot of damage even if you are only attacking one legion. And it's really underrated hero pair in my opinion, right? Of course, whenever I opened artifact compendium i got my orb and i'm i'm still leveling up my my orb and in general i think my orb in terms of mage artifacts is one of the biggest damage in whole game of course it's level one but i can't ask more i'm already happy that i i already have this artifact maybe in the future i will get lucky and i will have couple of my orb so i will be able to level up this skill right um i finished to make bertrand 5 1 
soon i will try my best to get ohar to 5111 and i think this hero pair will be ready in terms of warped shadow fair drake um, it's pretty nice uh simply because like i understand spirit is a b tier but i like that intelligence in an s tier right and plus i have a lot of skill slots i have shadow hunter in two star and of course slowly i will try my best to upgrade intense shadow hunter to a at least one star and then i'm gonna try to get to the two star of course i have still two skill slots left it i will finish that with shadow hunter synergy and follow up third skill this is like i that's why in general i started to build up this hero pair because i have perfect warped for this hero pair i have perfect artifact artifact for this hero pair and nothing is left I just need to upgrade first and main skill of the both heroes and I think this hero pair will be ready in terms of awakening Bertrand it's it, I don't think it's a great idea uh, simply because you are getting additional uh, like couple of hundred like 200 more and damage which is not that important simply because even like Wellin has like 400 additional damage on awakening skill so i think awakening bertrand should not be priority but in terms of tohar tohar has an amazing uh, awakening skill and uh, i'm not sure if i will make the decision and i will put all of my legendary tokens for the mage heroes but still we need to mention that tohar has like one of the best awakening skill in the game the next one which is third hero pair and i understand i don't have enough troops for the third one but i have a lot of speed up for recruiting the army and i will have enough mage troops whenever the season of strife will be here the hero pair is uh, alwinian in this which is like more control supporting type of hero pair uh, which i'm going to build of course my alwin is awakened and in this is awakened also i like this hero pair simply because alwin will deal a lot of poison damage a lot of damage debuffs like march speed debuff like poison taking damage a lot of like tankiness uh, in general i think while alwin is one of the most underrated mage heroes in the currently in the game and that's why i want to try it out and see how good it is or maybe how bad it is i'm not going to speak about uh, in this match everybody already understands a lot of healing a lot of uh, more legions because of the third skill uh, you are having more maximum legion capacity and of course uh, like uh, infirm is an amazing skill an amazing buff a healing factor damage factor so i don't need to speak much about in this because everybody understands how great the legendary hero she is and especially everybody can awaken her that's a big plus in terms of artifact tier of arbon is my only level 5 um, artifact in the game and that's the main reason why i decided to build around the tier of arbon the uh the hero pair right um i'm i want to try tier of arbon with alwin and indis i want to see how successful it will be i understand i'm not gonna get a lot of merits out of this hero pair it will be more healing to my nearby alliance members to my other legions healing myself of course and taking like getting more time in order for me to have more alwin poisons and more in this heal so i will stay alive longer right it will be super interesting for me to understand uh, how this hero pair will perform in the future season this is my two a group of uh, hero pairs which i'm going to use in a future season and I'm, I'm of course i will try my best to compare them one by one and of course there is another one for example which is atheist and uh, uh, Thea, which should be totally fine if you ask me, right? Like this hero pair should be totally fine to have, but I would need like a lot more major troops in order for me to fulfill this uh, hero pair. Uh, at first, of course, I will try my best to understand how archers are going to perform in a season of strife without long range warfare and if i won't gonna like their performance of course i'm gonna still use them but it won't gonna be my priority right priority will change to mages at least until the the future season will come and maybe the announcement about long range warfare because i still think that a long range warfare will come back at some point in the game it's about like meta change in the current call of dragons at first it was all about mage meta then it was infantry because of goresh and skull ghoul then it was about long range warfare and marksman hero pairs and in season of stripe i think it 
will be all about cavalry heroes because these two new legendary cavalry heroes are looking amazingly uh, well and I think that should be the new meta. Uh, that's why I'm hoping that um, in the future Long Range Warfare will come back to the uh, in the game and still uh, I will be focusing in terms of legendary tokens on my archers and I really hope that um, I will be using them and getting more and more merits in the future seasons this is my game plan this is my open field pvp battle hero pairs um share yours because i'm always interested about your ideas guys and how you are going to approach the season of stripe uh, this is my ideas this is how i'm going to play next season and as always if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make content for this amazing game i hope everybody is going to have amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck